all right hosses welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about how to make another kind of layout and this is called a list box now a list box this type of layout is really good for forms because it's kind of like a list in the sense that you can put things kind of like rows one on top of each other and the reason that it's a little better than a list is first of all whenever you think of like a grocery list you think of one item on each thing you can actually have multiple items on each row so it's good so you can have a label and then an input and then like maybe a label and a submit button and another thing is that you can navigate it with a keyboard you can sort it so in this demonstration I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a simple form but the possibilities are endless dun, dun, dun. sound like inspiring so I'm just gonna write like a cheeseburger machine because that's what's popping in my head right now we'll say that this is a form you're the owner of a restaurant and uh, you have to, for some reason, submit a form to turn your cheeseburger machine up. This is the dumbest example ever, but whatever. All right. So one of the first things I always like to do is I like to set a border around my entire layout. And if you don't do this, then everything inside your layout is going to look like it's bunched right up against the edge of, you know, all the borders and stuff. So I just type self. And whenever you refer to self... Remember, this is essentially like your main window. So for the main window, the overall window, I'm just gonna set a border width of 10 or so. And that'll be pretty good. If it's still kind of close to the edges, we can bump it up a little bit, but whatevs. And now, just for my list box, I'm just gonna call it list box and set this equal to GTK dot list box. Too lazy to type that. All right, so we'll just set it equal to a blank list box. And again, just think of this like a list for now that we can stick items inside. So for the list box, one thing I want to do is I want to set the selection mode to GTK selection mode and set this equal to none. All right. So you know I said this is essentially a list and sometimes you're going to want to make a list where the users can like select the items and navigate it around like a uh, with their keyboard. Maybe if you're making something like an Excel spreadsheet kind of program. However, this is just a form and we don't want them to be able to like select the entire form elements like the label and everything. So that's why I'm going to hit selection mode none. And of course, we need to add this to the window so self add list box all right so now we have our list box added to the window a blank list pretty boring so what we're going to do from here is we're just going to start adding items or form elements to it so if it was a login form you would want to have a label that says email and then an input area and then maybe their password in another input area but i'm just going to make some stupid um random stuff so right like um I'll just make a checkbox first. You're going to use this a lot. All right. So there's one more thing I'm going to explain before we start, you know, really pounding into the code. Now we can't just add items into these rows and that's fine. We can do that if we want. However, what I'm going to do is instead of adding the items directly into the rows, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them inside a box. So in each row, we're going to have a box and the items are going to go inside that. Why the heck am I doing that? Well, if we have a box, we have a lot more flexibility of how we want to lay the items out. So boxes just give you a lot more options than list box rows. So there you go. You guys are going to see in a second. So row one equals GTK. This is just going to be the list box row. And we'll just keep that for now. And under that, we're just going to make box one and set this equal to GTK box wow I can't type a one letter and I'll do this the orientation equals G T K orientation there we go and horizontal and another one is the spacing equals 100 so this is the main attribute that I was going after right now so like I said 
we can just stick our label and our checkbox right in the row but if we do they're gonna be clumped up right tight against each other it's gonna look really weird with a box we can actually give it some spacing just like that so now your labels nice on the left you have a little bit of space and then your checkbox is gonna be on the right it's gonna look freaking beautiful trust me guys so row one what we want to do is we want to add box one and then let's just make a label so label equals dck label and what text do we want to appear on this label let's try to check if check if you love cheeseburgers so that's what this checkbox is going to be and now let's make the checkbox so checks equals dk check button all right so we have a label and a check button and now we pretty much just have to add it to the box so box one and remember we'll just say pack start we'll add them in order and then add the label to the box true true zero and I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the check so might as well just copy that to ensure my laziness level is staying high and now check it out we have two items which is the label on the left and the checkbox we added them both to the box and now the only thing we have to do is add the box to the list row so list box add row one boom roasted and now if you want to even get even more lazier you can copy this entire thing and do the same but I don't want to keep the checkbox because I don't know we already did one of those I'll show you guys how to do a toggle switch those are another thing that come in handy quite a bit and for my label we'll say that this is the switch to turn your machine on so it's right like um burger making machine and the toggle, the toggle switch by default, it says on and off. It's just a regular toggle switch. So, um, you know, the label, it would be good for that. And let me just change these two. Row two, row two, row two. Box two, box two, box two. Dun, 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 dun. That's what we're going to do. Check it out now. Mm. All right. So, of course, I don't want to check box. So, instead, I'm going to make a toggle switch. It's going to be awesome. Let me scroll down so you guys can see. All right. So I'll just name it switch and set this equal to GTK switch. And all right. Looking good, mate. And of course, got to put my switch right there. Let me just make sure. Dun, dun, dun. Does everything look good? Hopefully, or else this is going to be super embarrassing. All right. So yeah, I think we're good to go. So let's run this bad boy and see what's up. All right, so check it out. Our title, cheeseburger machine, check if you love cheeseburgers, check that, burger making machine, looking good. And again, even though the user can't see it, this entire thing is a list box. And inside of these are list box rows. And instead of just sticking these labels and all these widgets inside, what we did is we added an invisible box because that way we can have the spacing right here and real quick let me show you guys what it would look like if you didn't have the spacing so let me actually change the spacing to zero so i can represent that and check it out so this is what i was talking about how everything is all clumped together and i don't know if that's the effect you're going for the incredible ugly effect then go ahead and do that but I like it better, a little bit better with a tidbit of spacing. So play around with that. And uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you just got yourself a nice brand new piece of software for a cheeseburger machine. Go ahead, go out, sell it to McDonald's, make millions. But don't forget to watch the next video. I will smell you guys there.